run. Um, had them went to maybe 11 points in the first quarter. Rui and LeBron helping you on the glass. Just uh, what? How did you guys? come out that focused defensively and kind of start to get some of that identity back? Uh, just bouncing back from our game against Indiana. Uh, we didn't play really good defensively. Um, and obviously we know this is a team who got a lot of offensive threats. And we just want to come out uh, and set the tone defensively. Um, and we did that in the first quarter. A little rude of LeBron to hit that many threes when you've been hitting more threes lately to just drown out your, your makes uh, like that? No, I mean, he 9 for 10. Um, and then the ones that he was shooting wasn't hitting the rim. Uh, it's always great to watch. I mean, you know, most points in NBA history, you know, and he just continued to add to it. But the way he's... Um, the way he shot it tonight, uh, masterful. What kind of threat have you seen that uh, part of this game been since you guys have been teammates just as it's long ball? Yeah, it was becoming a three-level score. Um, you know, when he shoot the ball like that, I think he's over 40%, 42%. So after tonight, he probably like 43, 40. 44. But, you know, it, you know, obviously, Guys know he's a, a powerful driver, um, and you can't now can't go under his threes. You know, his screens because he'll shoot them, so uh, and he'll make them. So uh, you know, he's been since I've been here. He's been constantly in the gym working on you know his shot, and uh, it's showing over. Now it's you know, even tougher to guard him. Well, oh, we saw it, and you know, um, you know, obviously it's a, you know, a feel thing, rhythm thing to get back out there. But he looked, he looked really, really well um, on both things on the floor to me. Um, we had some miscues. Uh, I know I did, you know, with him. Um, um, but that's just coming back with, you know, being part of the team and you know, uh, game reps. So, but overall, I think he looked really solid. He yeah, yeah. He told me he was he was going through it earlier, uh, so he told me just you know his timing, you know, to get his timing back. So. As, as great as LeBron is, I mean, does, when he does stuff like this, does it still come as a surprise at all, or is nothing surprised with him? Just what's it like being on the court with him when he's doing this? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've never been on the court when he made nine for ten for three, so um, I'm still surprised. Like I said, the way he was shooting them, um, the run out in the left corner or in front of them or on their side of the floor. Uh, um, I mean, he's one toying into it. He's hopping into it. He's fading. Man. I mean, he was just doing everything tonight from the three-point line. So uh, the only one he didn't do was the one the one leg runner that he usually shoots. Um, but, yeah, man, like I said, it was, it was masterful just to sit here and, you know, watch that. He got us, you know, he got us separation again. How much is Ruiz picking things up defensively? How much does that help you guys? How much does that change things? It helps us a lot. I mean, um, Rui, his job is to rebound the ball as well. So, um, you know, he's just doing what we asked him to do. Um, you know, he's going to play for ish three ish uh you know he has to help us rebound the ball and um, um you know we we always on really we know how good he is and how good he can be and, and you know we just try to um get him involved on the offensive end and uh we put him on tough matchup defensively and uh but then that you know we can switch a lot and then now he's on bigs where he has to rebound the basketball so um you know when he's rebounding the basketball and I think he had double double night he had 10. um it just gives us uh more times to you know get out and run and transition because he's able to you know get it off the glass and push indy was was a, last two. 80 defensively, um, only 11 points in the first quarter, 25 only in the fourth for them. What did you like about where you guys were at and obviously that start? Yeah, I mean, we tried to come out and set the tone defensively. Um, you know, we let him back into it in the third and even a little bit in the second, then hit a 33 point second quarter. Quarter, if I'm not mistaken, 33 in the second. So, um, 
you know, we want to be better in those two quarters, to end the half and to start the half. But um, for the most part, I think we did a really good job defensively. And, um, you know, just trying to set the tone, knowing that uh, more than likely when we're they're not clicking offensively, defense going to win us game, win those games. And Indy was one of those tough games schedule-wise, just third game, four nights, et cetera. Now you're about to have uh, it'll be three and four with Toronto and Washington on a back-to-back. -back. How do you guys kind of muster that energy and, and this final push as you as you head back? Got to find a way. Uh, you know, we're trying to um, constantly just climb in the standings, but uh, win basketball games and the schedule is the schedule. There's nothing we can do about it. You know, we got to make sure that we, you know, get our rest and, and, you know, get prepared for two other teams who in the same position but got good players and can play. So, um, you know, I mean, we was in a close one against Washington at home. So, um, and, and Toronto, you know, <laughs> you know, so. No, we can't. Obviously, the team is a little different, Toronto, but we got to um, come in with the, with the same approach of starting off fast defensively and um, getting stops, but also learning from tonight where we got to come out in the halves better, especially the second quarter, and uh, start the half better, um, second half to uh, maintain our leads and um, you know do what we got to do. And now our starters and some of our uh, role players can get some rest and uh, you know, let our our young guys play.